Hi everybody, this is Judy at River City Sewing and today we're going to be talking about needle threaders and how they work. Now we get see many people who get frustrated with their machines and needle threaders and uh, I just want to explain a little bit today about how they work. Okay, so generally what happens with a needle threader is you have a little tiny piece of wire that goes through from the back of the needle through the eye of the needle to the front and it's got a little hook on it, a little tiny tiny hook, very very fine piece of wire. The idea of that is that when you bring the thread across the face of the needle, it'll actually hook onto that little piece of wire and then get pulled back through the eye of the needle. And that's generally how a needle threader works. Some machines have it done automatically, some are semi-automatic where you have to pull down the little needle threader um, mechanism push it down so it goes into the front of the needle and then you thread. Whichever way your machine does it, then um, you know there's a couple little things you need to know about using your needle threader so that you don't damage it. One is that if your um, needle has to be in a correct position for the needle threader to be able to put that little tiny wire through the eye of the needle. So generally we say if your machine has a needle up needle down function, you know, where you press the button and the needle goes down and then it goes up. I want you to do that before you start um, threading your machine because that'll put the needle in the right position for a needle threader. Okay, some machines are very different, but most of them, this function is available. So do that first. Second of all, just make sure that when you are threading your needle that you're pushing it, uh, especially if you've got one that you need to push down, um, manually that you're pushing it all the way down okay and then bringing the thread across and you'll see that in the next little video that I've got at the end of this little talk um, it'll show you on one of our uh, classroom machines here in our banana classroom I've done a little video there to show you how the mechanism works um, if you find that your needle threader is not working it could be that that needle may not have just been in the right position Okay, it might have been slightly up or slightly down. If you've turned the hand wheel at any particular point, it might have just moved. And what that means is that the, uh, that little tiny piece of wire couldn't get through the hole in the eye of the needle. So you may have bent it, it may have been um, bent out of shape, or it may have actually broken it off. That's how fine the wire is in the needle threader. So you may want to have that looked at. Um, we see a lot of needle threaders come in where they've been and might need slight adjustments. So. Be aware when you are using your needle threader to make sure that it's in the right position. Look in your manual, um, have a look. There's some YouTube videos out there for each of the machines and each of the brands relating to using your needle threader. If you're not sure, you can bring it into us here at River City and we can show you how to use it and how to um, thread your needles correctly with the threader or fix it if you need be. Um, but if you're having trouble, always take it to your retailer where you bought it from or you know, we're happy to look at it for you here. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, talk about needle threaders. If you have any more questions, you know where to come to. Um, and until next time, happy sewing.